Well, there is this one champagne producer that you should know and today we're gonna be all talking about that producer Vilmart et Compagnie This is so, so, so delicious. Lots of citrus aromas, a touch of fine oak, slight sensation of red forest berries, not the blackberries, red berries, such as cranberry, raspberry, red currant. This producer, short to say, Wilmart, is definitely a producer that you should know if you're a wine enthusiast or a sommelier or any kind of wine professional. But why Wilmart is such an important champagne producer? Let's talk about it. So why, 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 why Wilmart is so important? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. Why Wilmart has become a cult champagne producer? Let's talk about it. Let's dig in. If you are lucky enough to bump into Lorient Champs, who is now as the fifth generation running the house, you will recognize he is such a kind and nice gentleman and you can really taste his character in these champagnes. How? Well, you have to meet him and you have to taste these champagnes and you will really understand what I mean. It will make sense. They usually do their spring tastings, the group tastings, the group so-called Les Artisans du Champagne. In Domaine Le Crayet. Crayet. Domaine Le Crayet. Crayet. French is so hard. So hard to pronounce. Crayet. Domaine Le Crayet. Vilmar is a small grower house located in the sub-region of Montagne de Rams in Champagne. In that sub-region, they are located in the village called Rilly Ramontagne. Montagne de Rams, as a whole sub-region, is dominated by Pinot Noir. But Vilmar, actually, quite interesting, among their 11 hectares of vineyards, they have more Chardonnay than Pinot Noir, actually. Why Vilmart champagnes are so different? Well, first of all, they are so winous. Acidity is very high, very fresh champagnes, but you also get a lot of winous character because of the touch of oak. They do use oak. It is told that it was Lorient's parents who brought in the oak use into their winemaking. And since then, they have been always uh, fermenting the wines in the oak, so the vinification happens inside the oak as well, not just the aging. But talking about oak wines, we are not talking about the generic California Chardonnay. We are more talking about a very, very fine kiss of oak. And from that case, the wine gets a slight oxidation, a touch of sweet baking spices, and maybe a little bit of creamy character to its structure, relating to all these. So, as many people say, elegant is the word to describe the champagnes of Wilmer. So good. So, Wilmer has cult starters. But how? Well, basically, Lorient Champs say himself, 
First and the foremost, I craft wine. First of all, his approach is to make a very good wine and letting it become champagne. They work with quite old vineyards, about over 50 years of age, all located in the Premier Cru de village of Grida Monta. And actually, a lot of people, a lot of wine experts say Villemart has a Grand Cru status among the producers located in the Premier Cru villages. Well, probably you know about the champagne classification, Premier Cru villages, Grand Cru villages, and so on. It doesn't go by vineyard or by producer, but some people consider Villemart quite special. They also age the wines before they release. Even the non vintage grits, such as this one, it's aged up to three to four years. In the vineyards, they don't use herbicides or pesticides. Since Lorient took over, he says he never used any of these chemicals. They also have the certification of the Ampelos. Ampelos is a certification that gives regulations about the nature-friendly vineyard management. Take a look at Ampelos. Why it is so important to talk about the chemicals? Well, for the quality, it's believed that lowest intervention, better champagne. Lowest intervention, better wine. So this is something for you, my dear sommelier fellows. When you are making your champagne list, take a look at these kind of things. Vilma champagnes are very fresh, very acidic, because they refuse to go for malolactic fermentation, so the cuvées are, all of them are non malo cuvées. And even sometimes that might feel like a, like a, when you take a zip, as I do right now, it might feel like a, a, a piece of cold steel in your mouth. Acidity is so high. Together with acidity, there is a nice touch of tension, that, that feeling of acidic structure in your mouth without salivating. comes acidity so the wines are really sharp like a cold piece of steel like a knife for those who like really fresh uh, refreshing champagnes when you think about its price Willmark offers some really great value I'm not saying it's inexpensive but for what you pay it's definitely worth it is so acidic it is so sharp that Maybe it's better to give a couple of uh, minutes in the glass and maybe a couple of swirl before you start consumption. But that's a good thing because that makes it quite a food-friendly champagne. Cheers. That's one of the most important things about Vilmar champagnes. They are so food-friendly. Very fruity and, in my opinion, a touch of oak which gives a slight oxidation. This great freshness gives the wine a great opportunity to go with food. Well, they produce the following champagnes. So they make the Grand Reserve, which is right now I'm tasting, also Grand Cellier, non-vintage. They also make Grand Cellier Dove vintage, Cour de Cuvée vintage, Blanc de Blanc vintage, Cuvée Ruby, which is a Rosé Champagne. Uh, they also make Grand Cellier Ruby vintage, again a Rosé Champagne, and maybe one of the best, best ever Ratafias I ever tasted. Vilmat Ratafia is something you should get your hands on. It's amazing, so delicious. It's so fruity, the sweetness is very well balanced with the acidity and that touch of oxidation in there. Wonderful ratafia. You should definitely get some. So the wine here I'm tasting is Grand Reserve. This is the very, very entrance cuvee champagne. It's 30% Chardonnay and 70% Pinot Noir. Uh, the, the wine has a great acidity, a touch of red berries, not blackberries, red berries such as raspberry, red currant, and so on. Together with these red berries, there is a nice touch of lemon zest and you get a lot of floral notes, a lot of oxidative notes, especially if you open your champagne like this and leave for a couple of days in the fridge. The wine keeps changing all the way and it becomes amazing while keeping the acidity quite high still. It has nine grams of sugar and that I think that's a great decision to make. Uh, nine grams of sugar for that kind of acidity, it helps a lot to the fruit structure of the wine and uh, who wouldn't like a wine with good fruit structure anyway? In their technical sheet, in their website, they do have a couple of words about food and wine pairing. They say they say for food and wine pairing of this specific cuvee, Grand Reserve Premier Cru wine and food pairing, it will pair with delicate and soft in texture meals such as canals, poached white meats, raw fish with sauce, 
and hard cheeses. Well, quite a nice, sophisticated uh, wine and food pairing, but I have to say this is very French. My personal recommendation with this, this cuvee, I think it will pair very well with deep fried chicken, with potato fries, aka French fries, perfect with this kind of acidity, super high, delicious. You should definitely try French fries, chicken and champagne. With this kind of killer acidity, I believe it will also work quite well with white base pizza and also I think creamy pastas you make at home, such as creamy seafood pasta. It's gonna be awesome. With it, just a couple of drops of lemon squeezed on top of it, that's gonna be perfect. As I said, this is a producer to keep your eyes on. This is a cult producer. All wine enthusiasts, all wine professionals should know about Wilmart. Many sommeliers, if it's available in their country, they should get Wilmart into their list. Greetings to the glass designer, Philippe James. This is, this is Lehman Grand Champagne James Prestige. Really great stem for champagne. From here, greetings to Philippe James as well. Good stuff. Kippis. Kippis. Thank you for watching my wine lover friends, my champagne lover friends. Hope to see you at the next episode. Check Grower Champagne Producers, check Wilmart, check good wine, drink good wine, do some exercise, do some sports, drink responsibly, and see you at the next episode. Cheers. <laughs>